the heart, one of the great marvels of life. It contracts more than two and a half billion times in a lifetime, pumping 2,000 gallons of blood every day. It is a complex organ and an elegant one, beautifully synchronizing electrical input and mechanical output. Heart disease, however, is the leading cause of death in the world. In the United States alone, one person dies of heart disease every minute. The pharmaceutical industry tests thousands of drugs every year to treat various problems. Despite the laborious drug approval process, many drugs are still recalled after they have been marketed due to deleterious effects on the heart. Clearly, there is a need to design a low-cost and user-friendly means of predicting how a drug will affect the heart at the earliest stage of drug screening. By identifying ineffective or harmful drugs early at this point, wasteful spending will be eliminated and the development of more efficacious drugs will be expedited. Predicting outside of the body how drugs will affect the heart inside of the body is an extraordinary task, but it's one worth billions of dollars. Industry approaches it using Chinese hamster ovary, or CHO, cells that have been transfected with the HERG gene to express the potassium channel present in heart cells. These channels, while essential for normal electrical activity in the heart, by no means transform CHO cells into heart cells. Indeed, they look and behave completely differently. They are not arranged in the same geometric pattern, and they are not contracting. Not surprisingly, these tests yield results that all too often fail to predict how the heart will actually respond to a drug. At the University of California, San Diego, and Stanford Consortium for Regenerative Medicine, our team is determined to rectify this problem by developing a means of recreating key aspects of the heart on a small, reproducible scale. Cells on this platform will respond in the same way cells in the actual heart do. Here's the idea. With the help of sophisticated computer-aided design software and a laser printer, we can build cell culture platforms efficiently and inexpensively. Within the cell culture wells, gels with tunable mechanical properties are polymerized. This substrate has two stiffnesses arranged in a pattern. The first recapitulates heart tissue stiffness, and the second guides migration of cells into a physiologically relevant configuration. To attain this pattern so precisely, the gel is polymerized inside of an ultraviolet light box. UV light passes through a carefully designed photo mask, which selectively stiffens the regions of interest. Once the device is ready, immature heart cells derived from human embryonic stem cells are seeded onto the substrate and conform to the pattern. Our cells behave like heart cells in the body because they align along the same axis and are not randomly oriented. Without the device, cell contraction is unsynchronized and weak. On our device, it is synchronized and strong. We can test various drugs and concentrations rapidly. The response elicited will be representative of the real heart's response. With this comes the power to improve the predictability of drug tests and speed up the preclinical process, bringing drugs to the market more quickly and saving countless lives.